Now there's another happy ending. And here's another round of the super quiz in which, by linking pictures, letters and figures, you make connections. Welcome to Connections and, of course, to our two contestants. Our champion is Anne Brown, and Anne comes from Itchim College in Southampton, and her challenger is Jason Addy from Older Hill School in Rochdale. Well, we just started the first round last time, nothing in the scores, and we've got two pictures on the board, boating and a school. So, time we've got some more pictures up there. Here's your first question. What do we call the narrow strip of land which joins two much larger? Anne? Peninsula. No. Jason, what do we call the narrow strip of land which joins two much larger land masses? A strait. No, it's, the answer is isthmus. If the father of a foal is a sire, what is the mother? Jason. A mother. No. And if the father of a foal is a sire, what is the mother called? It's a dam. A dam. Denmark only borders one other country. Jason? West Germany. Correct. And there's your third picture, horses drinking. 90 bonus points then, if you can tell us the connection, Jason. Uh, articles of clothing. No, not articles of clothing. With which sport would you associate Willie Carson? Jason? Horse racing. Horse racing, correct. And they are men at work. 80 bonus points then. Any ideas yet, Jason? Top uh, personality. No, not pop personalities um. either. What can be straight, dolman, or rag... And sleeves. Or raglan sleeves is correct. That's a cradle. And now the bonus has dropped to 70. And what's the connection? Sailing. Water mm. sports. No, nope, not sailing or water sports either. So let's have another look at the board. Boating. A school. Horses drinking. Men at work. And a cradle. 60 points available next time. In which provincial city did the Guardian newspaper start and Manchester? Start production Manchester it was, correct. That's rugby league. So for those sixty points, Anne, can you tell us what the connection is? Famous schools? Nope, not famous schools either. What are the low lying marshy lands of Cambridgeshire and Lincolnshire, Anne? The fans. Correct. The comic. Now we're down to 50 points, and what is it? <whistles> Out of time. In golf, Americans call them sand traps. Oh. What do... Jason? Bonkers. Bonkers, indeed, yes, correct. There's the folk singer, Joan Baez. 40 bonus points, then. Can you do it for 40 points, Jason? No. All right, let's have a, another look at the board. Boating, a school, horses drinking, men at work, a cradle, rugby league, the comic, and folk singer Joan Byers. What may be either a piece of sliced potato or a piece of plastic used in gambling? And Chip. Chip is correct. <laughs> Your final picture, he is Jeff Love. Last chance, it's all down to you, Anne. Can you make the connection for 30 points? Out of time. It's difficult one if you're not thinking along the right lines, but the connection is they're all types of song. Okay, boating song, school song, drinking song, work song, cradle song, lullaby in other words, rugby song, comic song, folk song, and love song. All types of song. No one got the connection, so nobody gets the bonus. So let's have a look at the scores. Anne's just in the lead with 50, and Jason very close behind on 40. Now, Jason. You say here that you make antique furniture. Now, come on, how can you make something um, antique? Is this all above board? No, you restore them. <laughs> it's, you restore restore them. It. it's restoration. So what yeah. sort of things are you talking about? Uh, oak furniture mainly. I like uh, period furniture, 16th, 17th century style. Yeah. That's the sort of style. Ah. 
And is that what you'd like to do later on, perhaps? No, it's mainly a hobby. You know, I'm interested in the auctioneering side of furniture, and perhaps it could, it's just a hobby, really, though. Okay. And, um, Anne, you said that you're, you're interested in reading. What sorts of books do you enjoy reading? I like historical novels, because history is my favourite subject at school. Is it? Well, if you could have lived in another period, apart from the 20th century, when would you um, have chosen? Ancient Egyptian, Roman, that sort of era. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. All right, we're going to move on to our um, second round, Find the Figure. This is the round which uh, appeals to those with a mathematical bias, and they'll get 40 points for solving the sum. What is a clavichord? Oh. Jason? It's an old-fashioned instrument, a musical instrument. Correct. Plus, what sort of waves are used in sonar detection? Oh. Jason? Sound wave. Correct. Divided by? Which famous East German castle was turned into a high-security... Oh. Jason? Called it. Correct. Equals. Which word links a citrus fruit and William the Third? Jason. Orange. Correct. Five. What do we call a young fox? Anne. Cub. Correct. Plus. Which 20th century Labour Prime Minister was Scottish? Four. Jason. Come that way. No, Anne. Ramsay MacDonald. Correct. Eight. Under which river does the Rotherhithe Tunnel pass? Four. Anne. The Thames. Correct. Six. And you've got one more square to go. Which person on TV talks about the stars in... Four. Jason? Patrick Moore. Correct. Three. Four. Jason? Thirteen. No, not thirteen. Anne? Fifteen. Yes, six divided by three plus five plus eight equals fifteen. Bad luck, Jason. Anne has found the figure. <laughs> The 40 bonus points. There's not much in it, though, Jason. You've got 90 at the moment, and Anne has 120. Very little in it, in fact, because remember, in our final round, we double the points, so only one question is worth 20 points. So you're very, very close. What is placed on the speaker's table to show that the house... Anne? An orb. Not an orb, no. Jason, what is placed on the speaker's table to show that the House of Commons is in session? The scepter. No, it's the mace. Which Russian city was formerly called St. Peter's? Oh. Jason? Leningrad. Correct. We start this game with the blue ensign. So quickly write that down, and then I'll give you your next question. Which common reaction of the senses is stern... Oh. Jason? Sneezing. Well interrupted. Sternutating is sneezing. Correct. That lady is Scylla Black. So the bonus begins in this round at 200 points. They're waiting for you, Jason, but we need the connection. Colours? <laughs> well, they are colours, but that's not it. What does mandatory mean? Jason. You have to do it. It's you do mandatory. indeed. Yes, it's compulsory. Correct. There's a cascade of water. Okay, Jason, the bonus has dropped to 180. Any ideas yet? Uh, naval terms. No, ships. It, it isn't ships oh. or naval terms, no. In terms of Canada and the USA, what is the... Anne? North America. No. Interrupted a little early. Jason, in terms of Canada and the USA, what is the significance of the 49th parallel? It's, it divides... It's the division between the border. Yes, it forms part of the boundary. Correct. That's the sign of Taurus. The connection for you is worth 160 points now, Jason. Animals? No, not animals. Getting some good ideas, but unfortunately not, not the right ones at the moment, so let's have a look at the board. The blue ensign, Scylla Black, a cascade of water, and the sign of Taurus. 140 points next time. According to Tennyson's poem, how many took part in the charge of the light brigade? Oh. Jason. Eleven. No, not eleven. <laughs> <laughs> no. According to Tennyson's poem, Anne, how many took part in the charge of the light brigade? A thousand. No, it was 600. <laughs> Which Frenchman first developed a rabies vaccine? Anne? Pasteur. Correct. That's a snowy owl. So over to you, Anne, for 140 points. <whistles> Out of time. What is the chemical symbol for manganese? <whistles> Jason? M-N. Correct. There's Grampian Television. Now, does that give you any idea of the connection, Jason, for 120 points? Are they all stations? No, they're not stations. That's not our connection. Which famous band leader was presumed killed when an aircraft... Anne? Glenn Miller. ...went missing in 44? Glenn Miller is correct. Now, that gives you an atlas. Mount 
mountains. That's it, yes, they're all mountain ranges. Blue Mountains is Australia, Black South Wales, Cascade, USA, Taurus, that's Turkey, Snowy Mountains, Australia, Grampians, Scotland, and Atlas, North Africa. Two more pictures to put on the board. There's a Triumph Dolomite, the Dolomites are in Italy, and lastly, Rocky Marciano, Rockies in North America. They're all mountain ranges. You've made the connection now. <laughs> the bonus. Let's look at the scores then. They've had quite a battle. Jason has 190, but Anne has 260. She's done it again for the third time. She's our champion. <laughs> Bad luck, Jason. You did extremely well. I thought you were going to beat her at one stage. Anyway, you've got 190 uh, points, so where would you like our check for £190 to go? It's a uh, charity for badly treated animals, uh, horses and ponies. Okay, well, they'll be getting the check in the next day or two, and you'll be taking home with you our Connections camera. So thank you for taking part in Connections. Thanks a lot, Jason. <laughs> so Anne's got 260 more points to put into the bank now, and she's going to try for the third time to link the letters. It's important to remember because it's the only time in Connections when they can win something for themselves. The rest of the time they're playing for community causes. So we wish you the best of luck, Anne. Once again, keep your eye on the board. 50 seconds. Your connection time starts now. Children have 20, adults have 32. What? Two. Correct. Which position has been held by William Pitt and Harold Wilson? Prime Minister. Correct. Who is remembered every November the 5th? Guy Fawkes. Correct. What is opposite south on a compass? North. Correct. With which art form would you associate Picasso and Van Dyck? Painting. Correct. The age of a tree is determined by counting its what? Rings. Correct. What nationality is Dr. Garrett Fitzgerald? Irish. Correct. Finally, which metal forms the greater part of steel? Iron. Correct. Ping trip. Let's see if you're right. Tripping. No, bad luck. It's ah. tripping, tripping. You got the um, start oh. in the wrong place. So, oh, you could kick yourself, couldn't you? Okay, what a shame. Anyway, never mind. She's still our champion, and she will still be playing another game, but not just yet. That's where we're going to take our break. We'll be back, though, with a new challenger and a new game very shortly, so don't go away. <laughs> Out of the East comes the secret of silken hair and silken skin. A secret now revealed in Alberta Natural Silk Hair Care and Bath Care. It's made with real silk, so your whole body will feel like silk and look like silk. Alberta Natural Silk. It's the secret of silken beauty. When you hear what's new, who's going out with who? And when you've got your favorite track, got your favorite snack, stack of one, stack of two, stack of Twix, twin pack. When the sun's shining, stack of Twix with friends, stack of smiles, stack of laughs, stack of Twix, twin pack. Golden shortcake, delicious caramel, thickle chocolate in Twix for longer lasting stack. Because you know Milton Fluid is thoroughly safe here, you can be sure it will give you protection from germs here, here, or even here. Because a solution of Milton Fluid kills germs without leaving any taste. So Milton Fluid gives you family protection from germs. We've got a very good relationship going, me and my cats. Tigger is an extrovert and will loves everybody and likes to get his nose into everything. Tabitha is more shy, but very affectionate. They do have something in common. They're both eat whiskers and that's all they'll eat. I think the whiskers people have obviously given a lot of thought to what they put in the whiskers and it is obviously good. Whiskers is real food. They definitely prefer whiskers. I've never had any trouble having healthy happy cats and I've always fed them whiskers so there's got to be a relationship there somewhere hasn't there? <laughs> Best ever whiskers. In tests eight out of ten owners who expressed a preference said their cats preferred it. You and the kids fancy a spot of sun, well try Broadway, then it won't cost a lot to fly away somewhere hot. For a start, all the kids can go half price with Broadway, that's right, all kids on every holiday the whole summer through, guaranteed. And when it comes to finding you a good cheap place to stay, Broadway are brilliant. So get yourself a Broadway brochure from your travel agent today, 
and enjoy one of the best basking bargains under the sun. Broadway, a better, cheaper holiday. <laughs> Welcome back. Well, we've got a new contestant to meet. His name is Scott Fisher, and he comes from High Pavement Sixth Form College in Nottingham. Welcome, Scott. <laughs> well, let's begin the first of our three rounds, then connect the clues. For ten points, where in your body are the trapezium and scaphoid bone? Oh, Scott. Shoulder. Not the shoulder, no. And Your arm. No, it's actually the hand. What type of horse race is one in which the competitors all carry different weights? And a handicap. Correct. First picture, having a swim. With which sphere of activity would you associate Rodney Bickerstaff, Ron Todd and John oh. Ed Scott? Unions. Correct. Morning has broken. 100 bonus points then for Scott if you can make the connection. No? On which statue would you find the words, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free? Where would you find that? Anne? The Statue of Liberty. Correct. Third picture, diving. Now, Anne, the bonus has dropped to 90 points. Can you tell me the connection? Works of art. No, not works of art. What is the capital of Sweden? And dot com. Correct. That's a high jump. 80 bonus points then, Anne. Any ideas yet? Olympic sports. No, not Olympic sports. So let's have a look at the board. Having a swim. Morning has broken. Diving and a high jump. The bonus at the moment stands at 70 points. How did Lady Astor make political... Anne? She was the first woman member of Parliament. Yes, yeah, she was the first woman MP to take her seat in the Commons, correct. There's a black cat. So, those 70 points are yours, Anne, for the connection. They moved. No, not moved, no. Which country's oldest university is St Andrews? Anne? Edinburgh. No. Scott? Scotland. Scotland is correct, the country, yes. There's a dry ski slope. So, Scott, you can have uh, 60 points if you'll give us the connection. No oh idea. All right. Famous in pantomimes and children's stories, what country does Aladdin come from? And China. Correct. That's outer space. Now, anything coming to your mind, Anne, for 50 points? No. Okay, in which city would you find government buildings called the Stormont? Scott. Dublin. No. Anne? Belfast. Correct. That gives you a boiler. And we'll give you 40 points if you'll give us the connection. <whistles> Out of time, so last look at the board before the answer is revealed. Having a swim, morning has broken, diving, a high jump, a black cat, a dry ski slope, outer space, and a boiler. 30 points, one last chance. What name is given to the very hot baths in which the heat oh. is... Scott? Turkish. No, and what name is given to the very hot baths in which the heat is generated by throwing water on hot stones? Sauna. Correct. Final picture, a birthday party. So, can you make it for 30 points, Anne? Oh, we've beaten them. All right, I'll tell you, they're all types of suit. Let's go through them. Swim, having a, having a swim is swimsuit. Morning suit, diving suit, jump suit, cat suit, ski suit, space suit, boiler suit, and birthday suit. No picture for that, thankfully. So nobody gets the connection. Um, no one gets the bonus. Let's have a look at the scores. Anne's in the lead with 70 points, and Scott, at the moment, you have 20. Scott, you're no stranger to the media. Tell us about Radio Trent. Yes, well, I've got a Saturday job at Radio Trent, and uh, I work with a sports team, uh, record reports that come up from IRN, collect scores, things like that. So you must be quite used to all this. Well, sort of. Sort of, yes. <laughs> and Anne, you like musicals. What have you seen so far? Um, I 
I've seen all the Lloyd Webber productions except Requiem and Evita. Um, and my favourite is West Side Story. I saw that at the revival at Her Majesty's about 18 months ago. Good, great. OK, well, we've uh, got to move on to our second round, which is, of course, Find the Figure, where we give 40 bonus points to the first one who can find the answer to our sum, which is hidden behind the centre square. Which city did Napoleon find in flames in 18... Anne? Moscow. Correct. Plus. In the Tour de France cycle race, what colour jersey is worn by the... Yellow. Oh, yellow is correct. Divided by... Which organisation is featured in the Godfather series of... Anne? The Mafia. Correct. Plus. At which sport might a skipper make a declaration? Oh. Scott. Cricket. Correct. Equals. On what would a curry comb be used? Oh. Scott. A horse. Correct. Two. Which David Essex song title was also a Shakespearean play? It was... Oh. Scott. A winter's tale. Correct. Six. In which city is the Elysee Palace? Oh. Scott. Paris. Correct. Seven. And your final square. Which cartoon features the song Whistle While You Work? Oh. Anne. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Correct. Four. Oh. Scott. No, too late. It has to be on the buzzer. Anne. The answer is 15. 4 divided by 2 plus 6 plus 7 equals 15. So nobody gets the, uh, the bonus. Let's look at the scores at the end of round 2 then. Anne is in the lead with 100 points and Scott has 70. So it's going to be uh, quite an exciting final round. We're going to start it now and we're going to double the points, of course. So for 20 points, what name is given to inhabitants of the Silly Isles? Anne. Silly's. Not Silly's, no. Scott? Sillians. No, it's nearly that. It's Silonians. What type of entertainment takes place in the sawdust ring? Oh. Scott? Boxing. No. And? A circus. Circus is correct. And picture number one, a legal authority. What has tappets, valves and pistons? Oh. Scott? Engine. Correct. There's a date. 200 bonus points for you, Scott, if you can tell us the connection. <whistles> then we'll move on. The kissing of which stone is supposed... Oh. Scott. Blarney. Blarney is correct. That's a country scene. 180 points then, Scott. Once again, can you tell us the connection? Theatre. No, not the theatre. If you suffered from photophobia, what would you be afraid oh. of? Scott. Having a photograph thing. No. Sounds like it, but it isn't that. Anne? Sunlight. It's light, so we'll give that to you correct. And we'll give you a zip. So, Anne, you have a go um, for 106. They're codes. They are, that's right. They're codes, yes. Legal code, date code, you know, the thing you get on food, the eat by date. A country code and a zip code, same as the US, US post code. Let's complete the board. There's dialing a number, dialing code. An iron post for post code. A highway, highway code, a green cross, the green cross code, and lastly, Samuel Morse, the Morse code. They're all codes. Anne has made the connection. <laughs> so, Anne gets the bonus. Let's look at the final scores. Scott, you have 110, but Anne has 300. She's done it for the fourth time. She's our champion. Well done. <laughs> so, Scott. This is where we have to say goodbye to you. 110 points, 110 pounds. Where would you like that money to go? I'd like that to go on aid comes through trip. OK, well, they'll be getting a cheque very soon, and we hope that you'll uh, accept our Connections camera as a thank you for taking part in Connections. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Bye-bye. Well, Anne has played and won four games, and you know by now that, of course, you have to retire at the end of four games. But before she goes, she's got one last chance to link the letters. So, 50 seconds to link those letters, Anne. Very best of luck. It'll be a special prize if you win. Your connection time starts now. Who is the star of the film Purple Rain? Great. Correct. What sort of animal is Roland Rat's friend, Kevin? The gerbil. Correct. What do we call a roof made from straw? Thatch. Correct. Which flower is the national emblem of England? The rose. Correct. Cutlass and rapier are both types of what? Swords. Correct. What do we call the penultimate month of the year? November. Correct. Which country borders both France and Yugoslavia? Germany. Wrong. Finally, how many months begin with the letter O? 
one. Correct. Fourteen. Let's see if you're right. She's got it, yes, with one letter missing. You've linked the letters. So, what have you got lined up your sleeve this time, Charles? Oh, what have I got indeed, Sue? Now then, Halley's Comet has been a bit of a disappointment here, so we're sending you somewhere with a guaranteed view. En route, you'll call in the tropical island of Bali, then to your viewing point, the Blue Mountains. You'll also spend a couple of days in Sydney, Australia. Congratulations. Well done. Thanks Smashing. So well, that's not all you've got. You've got 300 points in, in this particular game. Let's call on the bank now and find out what your total score is. It is 1,230. <laughs> so, where would you like that £1,230 to go, Anne? The Countess Mountbatten Hospice at West End, near Southampton. Okay, well, they'll be getting the money very soon. Also, since you've been here, you've won a weekend for two in Luxembourg and that fabulous trip to Australia, the Blue Mountains, Halley's Comet, the lot. So that's fantastic. And, of course, you'll be taking home with you our Connections camera. Thank you You've very been a much. great contestant, a great champion. Thanks very much indeed. Bye-bye. <laughs> to stop because not only is it the end of this show but it's the end of the series we do hope that you've enjoyed this series we'll be back in the autumn with a new one and i'm already looking forward to that so until we meet again from all of us take care and bye bye connections will in fact start a new series on saturday the 24th of january and will be on every day monday to saturday at a quarter past five